Fighter Show. What an audience! Welcome to the Euro Fighter Demo Center here in Munich. Nutrition and hydration are one of the most underestimated success factors of fighter missions. What do pilots eat and drink during long haul missions? Maverick says it's not the plane, it's the pilot. But what if the pilot needs to pee in a tiny cockpit at 30,000 feet altitude? These are the questions where we are looking for answers. And I asked some pilot friends, but their answers were not really what I expected. First one said, don't tell you how I do it on Earth. Why should I tell you how I do it airborne? Um, second one said, this is something between me and God. Well, not really helpful. Uh, the third one said, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. So not really the answers that are helping us today. But we've got somebody here, here at the Fighter Show, who has an answer to all these questions. And we will lift the last secrets of pilot living. Here is the German Air Force Eurofire display pilot. He's a true Bavarian. He's based at the Neuburg Fighter Wing. Here is Captain Noble. Thank you very much for having me here. Yeah, it's, it's great. An amazing place, an amazing audience. Great that you're here and we are lifting the last secrets of aviation today. But beforehand, allow me one question. You are the only fighter pilot I know that is wearing a full beard. Is that allowed? Are you allowed to fly fast jet with that? The cool thing first, I know a few more. Oh, so there okay. are a lot of more pilots <laughs> with beard. Uh, and yes, we are allowed to because we have a pressure system in the cockpit so the mask closes and uh, you still have active breathing. So there's a lot of oxygen coming into your mouth. Lucky, Still, lucky, lucky, lucky you, us. lucky you. Now, you also get a lot of long haul mission experience. Uh, the German Air Force did last year um, a mission or an exercise called Rapid Pacific. What was it all about? Exactly, it was a mission going into the uh, Australian airspace. And uh, to do that, we have to do a mission to go uh, into the Inter-Pacific room within uh, 24 hours. Meaning we had a seven hour flight uh, to Abu Dhabi from Germany and then from Abu Dhabi we hopped over to Singapore. And uh, that was actually the goal, to go there within 24 hours. Okay, and how long were you then in the cockpit? I was on the second part, so flying from Abu Dhabi to Singapore, eight and a half hours. Holy, okay, so eight and a half hours sitting in a tiny cockpit. What are you doing for such a long time there? I mean, there are different ways. You have to drink a lot, you have to get some food, Waggle your legs, waggle your hands, and then uh, of course every one and a half hours you need to get some fuel because you there's a tanker coming to go there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and that means then uh, concentration permanently, or how do you do that? Flying with autopilot. That's the good thing about the Typhoon because you have an autopilot, meaning you can still hold the altitude. You are close to the uh, air-to-air refueling tanker, and you still have your bodies around, so you can talk to each other. So how is it going? Everybody's doing good, and then uh, in between you can get some drink and food. Okay, now the human body is not made for eight hours sitting around. What are you doing to, uh, well, stretch your legs in that, in that environment? Yeah, uh, we got the ejection seat, which you can uh, go up and down. So I okay. always did to go Lifting. up, <laughs> lifting a little bit, <laughs> lift ups, and then uh, also with the leg pedals, you can push them forward, and then you have some space in the cockpit. So that means you're doing your workout for eight hours and exactly. you're getting out of the cockpit with muscles like, like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, you talked about it, you need to eat and to drink. Yeah. What exactly are you eating there? I, don't, I guess you don't have barbecue. Sadly not. Yeah, use <laughs> we the don't have a burner, right? <laughs> we would love to. Um, the first uh, thing is you have to get a uh, good breakfast. Our uh, second, uh, our turn from Abu Dhabi to Singapore was uh, like starting four o'clock in the morning. So you get a coffee, but don't drink too much because later on you have to go to pee. But still, I can show you some stuff we have in the cockpit okay. uh, for us to hydrate on the first portion. Okay, that's water. 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 Yeah, you, you don't can bring beer into the cockpit. No, even if you're, <laughs> if you're in a Bavarian typhoon. Exactly, uh, you're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> so you can bring as much water as you want. You can also bring a coffee. And yeah. uh, the second one is, I got some gummy beers. So well, you, you're, taking, you're taking gummy beers and that's, that's it. For, for eight hours, it's water and gummy beers. That worked out for me, at least. Okay, lucky you. <laughs> now, um, I'm wondering a bit about what is the experience between 
flying eight hours in a in a in a fast jet in a in a combat jet mm -hmm. compared to a uh, for example a training a, a transport aircraft uh, and lucky enough we you brought somebody of your team who got the experience uh, who recently flew uh, in the transport aircraft in an A400 for quite some long time um, what's the difference yeah for us um, it's very simple because um, you can try to sleep all the time or you can try to walk around, drink some coffee or play some cards uh, with your buddies. But um, for me it was very special to go to Thailand, walk around, because the view was sometimes just amazing. So, <laughs> so the, the, view, the view on the toilet, that's the big <laughs> difference. Now we, we come in down to the point, no, well, um, the view on the toilet. You mentioned it beforehand, uh, when the pilot needs to pee. What is a fighter pilot doing in the cockpit when he needs to pee? First of all, the view is amazing as well. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind. <Sure. laughs> and the thing is, uh, most of the missions uh, went overseas, meaning we have to wear a special suit yeah. to fly overseas. And then you, of course, have the G suit, you have the, the West on it, and then you are fully strapped into the hot ejection seat. So the first thing what I recommend is getting the seat to a not armed position, getting it to a safe position, because otherwise you pee. Yeah. You bail out yourself. <laughs> <That's not good. laughs> what we're going to do, so the first uh, thing we can do is using Pampers. That's the easy way. Oh, like, like the astronauts do, right? For sure, yeah. All the kids. And the uh, second way is, <laughs> <laughs> is um, to get your ejection seat safe and then strap off and using like a little device I will show you later on. And uh, you pee in there. And okay, you so have to stow it somewhere. So and feel relieved. Cool. And uh, you're lucky enough, there is no camera in the cockpit that is filming you by doing lucky that. Uh, <laughs> but no, well, you, you brought some of these tools with you and uh, we built up a kind of a laboratory next door. And uh, then let's see how real pilots pee. And uh, we're gonna have now a pee together. That's so go yeah. on. <laughs> Well, no, no, well, here we are at our private Eurofighter laboratory, and I must say, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared as well, and now we're doing the real deal. Okay, show me yours. Ready? Here we go. So we got two options in the Typhoon. Okay. As we talked about already. Yeah. So this is the easy option. Which means? The Pampers. Oh, uh, okay. So you put on but the we Pampers. But don't, we don't try that now. No. Okay. Let's get rid of the Pampers. Okay. Let's do the real stuff. So you're getting uh, your ejection seat safe. Done. Getting unstrapped. Yep. And then we're going to the business, I think. So this is the pedal bag. Holy. Gets 600 milliliters. So it ah, yeah. be a small one, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we can check it out if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get it open. Oh, there's there, is, there is something in it, there's right? some stuff in there. Does it smell good? Well, it doesn't smell at all. <laughs> but which color would you prefer first? I would say we're going for the, the green, green one? one. The green Let's one. Let's do it. Let's see. Oh, here it comes. Here we go. Oh. Look at that. You say stop if it's too much, right? But hear that sound. <laughs> it's close to the sound in the cockpit. Yeah. Except for the engines. How much do we got here? 200, 300. Uh, well, that looks good. That looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so as, okay. you, as you want to feel it's warm in there. Oh yeah, and, and warm. There's some party going on. Great. So what we do then, we're going to sip it. Yeah. Then it's closed. And here you have your package. Uh, <laughs> thank you, yeah. Noble. Well, what, what am I doing now with that? So what we do, we stow it in the cockpit until we land and then we just throw it in the garbage. Oh, That's understood. pretty much it. But it's, it's quite hard. Yeah, it's like a gel in there. Oh, know, okay. So transform into a gel. And that's it. That means now we lift it. One of the last secrets of aviation. Thank you yeah. very much, Noble. And, uh, well, it's a bit tricky now with all that in my hands. But you know that everybody who is guest in the Fight the Show is receiving the official Fight the Show pads. Thank you very much for being here. This is yours. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks, Noel. If 
I heard uh, we're getting a tie in here. It's like we a have big tie. Of course, a I big think one. you have a big one. And uh, I also got a patch for you from our squadron, which is a tiger squadron. And I oh, think wow. it perfectly fits yeah. on the tiger. So bring the tiger in, please. Here we go. So, you wanna you wanna put it on? Absolutely. Perfect. Here the first go. patch for Fresh our patch tiger for here. Tiger. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this was another episode. We lifted one more secret of aviation with our tiger and Noble. Thanks for watching, and may the Air Force be with you.